Hey everybody, um, this here is a Casablanca 20th century ceiling fan. Um, now I got this one today, actually, for free, um, absolutely free off a of Facebook marketplace. Um, and I thought, wow, what a deal. Um, but there's a reason why it was free, and I'll get into that in a minute. But first of all, this ceiling fan is a very, it was... A much more like high-end Casablanca model. Um, this model began production back in the 70s. The original ones were K63. Um, and what these were designed as is they were designed as a actually a copy of an antique model. There's an antique ceiling fan made by Westinghouse um, called the Deluxe. And it looks basically exactly like this, except I think it's got an oil bath motor. Well, obviously, it probably had an oil bath motor. All antiques pretty much had those. Um, but so Casablanca back in like the 70s decided, um, along with other antique models, that they were going to um, replicate that one as well. So um, this was what they came up with. It's a very good replica, actually. Um, very faithful to the original. Um, and I think that the earliest ones, the K63, K63 ones, were even more accurate. Um, but anyway, so the original ones were K63. They were, um, I think the motor housings were a little bit beefier on those to accommodate for the larger K63 motor. Um, they had, normally had the bell canopy, like the earlier bell canopy and the older style mount with the cotter pin and the bushings and everything. Um... So then this was around like probably whenever they phased out the K63 and they switched to the K55. Um, they kind of went with this design with the hang true. Um, and I think the first ones were IntelliTouch. Actually, no, 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 no. Some of the first ones were Slumber Quiet. The, um, the first of the K55 ones. Then they, when, they, when IntelliTouch came out, they, put, they made some of these IntelliTouch models. Um, and then very late in the production run, they made some in the regular three-speed. So um, I think at that point they were kind of falling off of the priority of Casablanca because they were um, more focused on like the IntelliTouch, Comfort Touch, you know, the new electronic age of ceiling fan controls. Um, and so these designs weren't as weren't probably weren't selling as much as the more popular contemporary designs of the time. But anyway, I um, also forgot to mention the original K63 ones from the 70s were variable speed, not slumber quiet. They had the cardboard box solid state speed control inside of the nose. So this particular one is dated 1990. Um, it's, what is it, July, I think? I'll, I'll check that in a minute, um, and I'll put it accurately in the description. But it is from 1990, um, and I'll show you the tag shortly after I test the fan, but um, I guess for starters I'll go ahead and turn the light kit on. So it did come with four bulbs, but one of the bulbs like broke out of the socket. It was still working, but I don't know, that happens all the time. Also I got this fan complete with everything except for the hang true and the mounting bracket, which, you know, kind of upset about that, but no big deal because I have extras. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and turn the fan on, start it on high. You can hear right away, it makes some wet bearing noise. There's a slight wobble, it's not terrible, but I think, per usual, I think it's just because I've got it on an exposed junction box. Also the flywheel looks a little bent. It's strange though, this one is from 1990, but the flywheel in this one is actually like, it's not like the later Casablanca flywheels that they were using at the time. It's like one of the earlier kind from, like, the kind that's on my Victorian. I think it's the exact same one as that. And I'll show that up close in a minute. It's strange. It seems like it's very, it seems a lot earlier than it actually is. I was very surprised to read that it was from 1990.
Turn it down to medium. Yeah, I I also totally forgot the reason why it was free is because of that the bearing noise. Um, it did it was making um, dry bearing noise earlier, but that that went away some for some reason. I I did run it a little while, but I think the bearings are on their way out. It's gonna have to be replaced. Unfortunately, I seem to have terrible luck with Casablanca bearings recently. Medium speed is rather nice, though. And, like, other than the bearing noise, it's absolutely silent. I would expect nothing less from a K55. Let's try low speed. Now, before, when I first started it up, it stalled out on low speed. Um, so I'm going to see if maybe running it a little while has helped loosen up those bearings. have to say it's kind of trippy sitting here watching the 20th century spin on low and forward and the Victorian spinning on low and reverse. It's like an illusion. But now it's not stalling out and it's actually going... This seems a lot faster than a normal Casablanca low speed for some reason actually, which is weird. I mean it's still like nice. And I'm still feeling a, a breeze from it, but maybe want it just a little bit slower, especially for such an ornate fan like this. You really need to see all the details. Turn it back up to high. forgot about the reverse controls. Okay, now we spin down. I'm expecting a very short spin down time. <laughs> No, it's actually taken its time. Bearings might be a, a little bit better than I thought. We'll see if it has any kickback when it stops, I guess. That's the real test. A slight bit of kickback, so yeah, they're still a little stiff. Maybe I'll try running it for a little while more after the video, just to see if I can't loosen them up a little more, work some grease into them that's still there, whatever grease is left. Um, so now I'm going to switch it to reverse. The reverse switch on this one is directly in the middle of the light kit on the bottom, so this time I'll start it up on low. And, oh good, it's not going to stall out. That was definitely because it probably hadn't been running forever when I first turned it on before. I'm expecting some bearing noise in reverse. Let's 
and it looks like it's going to be a worse wobble because I'm already seeing a little bit of wobble on medium. Okay, let's brace ourselves here. Oh yeah. Whoa! Wobbling so bad it knocked the smoke detector boxes off the display. That wasn't from the wobble, that was from the airflow. Um, yeah, that's a bit more of a death wobble in reverse. I'm going to turn it off before it decides to wobble itself off the ceiling. Okay. So... I did forget to mention, as well, I keep forgetting things, This, these blades are high gloss. I don't know what kind of wood this is. I think this might be walnut, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe mahogany, I don't know. Um, I don't know, like I, I've, I've made it very clear before, I do not know my woods. Um, that's what she said. But anyways, um, <laughs> these uh, casting details are absolutely beautiful. Just look at that ornate sideband, every every little detail is just so meticulously carved out and crafted. I mean, they, they probably looked at an actual Westinghouse Deluxe like to replicate this. Um, the light kit too, just look at that little fancy ornate ring at the top there. It's a, I don't know what model light kit this would be considered. Actually, I don't even know if this would be a light kit because it's got the, the chains and the reverse switch at, on the bottom of it, but yeah. Um, these shades, I'm, I don't know if these are Casablanca, I actually, they probably aren't because you can see a visible seam there. Casablanca would not have that. Um, it's got an arcless pull chain for the fan, the speed control, reverse switch, like I said, is right on the bottom in the middle here. This one's for the light kit, which I demonstrated earlier, and it does have its original, these actually are not extensions, they are one length, um, but the original Casablanca pendants, as you can see. The tag is on this side of the nose, and another strange thing, actually maybe not super strange, the this one's nose is kind of, it's shorter, it's like the IntelliTouch, but it's not as, I don't think it's as short as the IntelliTouch ones, I don't know, it's weird, um, but this is the tag, as you can see, there's the 20th century label, the Casablanca name. And if it would focus on the nose instead of the background, that would be really nice. Okay, we're not getting anywhere here. All right. <laughs> okay, you can see the serial number at least. Or the, yeah, serial number. It's GY, I think that, like I said, I think that's July. I have to double check. 1990, uh, 22nd, 1990, and 107th fan made that day. Um, yeah, 20th century. So... Whoa, almost fell off the step stool. Um, yeah, Hang True, again, that's not the original Hang True. That's the one, I think, from my Antique Brass Delta II. Um, and then I didn't even show the top of the motor, which is identical to the bottom faceplate, but you got the K55 M bell up there. It did come with the down rod and the ball, though, so I got that. Um, but yeah, that is it for this ceiling fan demonstration. So thank you for watching and there will be more to come.